hey guys hope you all will be doing really good uh, so in this video I am not gonna show you some heavy cutting or heavy uh, woodwork um, in outdoors we are going to do something really fun and interesting it's uh, the DIY for photo canvas uh, photo canvases are really common in the home decor whether it be kids photos family walls uh, scenic views in the living rooms um, they are pretty popular so let's quickly go get into the supplies uh, what do you need for this DIY you will need the plain canvas smart podge brushes for application acrylic paint and the photo print so for the if you guys are new into crafting or have already used a lot of crafting um, DIYs you must be familiar with the Mod Podge it's basically a all-in-one glue sealer and a finish used to attach paper and fabric to various surfaces so this is my first DIY with Mod Podge I'm gonna do a couple more interesting projects with Mod Podge and they're all uh, really really cool so for the canvases they are available at walmart um, hobby lobby michaels ross uh mod podge i'm going to use matte finish mod podge i have my acrylic colors black and blue i have already done the uh, borders for one of the um, uh, one of my can canvas but i am going to do uh, the big one right now once it gets dry you're gonna do move on to the next step so um i am for the smaller canvas i'm going to use these uh, beautiful islamic images uh it was an old calendar that i had and, and on the big one i'm going to use this photo print that i got it from walmart in just five bucks um so let's quickly uh, get into it um you are going to cover the borders with your acrylic color with the darker shades you may need just one coat to get full coverage but with the lighter shades you may want to do two or three coats of acrylic color to get full coverage once it's done you let it dry um, uh, on its own completely uh, and then you move on to the next step which is uh, the mod podge you apply the Mod Podge all over your canvas, a thin layer of Mod Podge. you take your photo print and put it on top of your canvas and flip it over and if you have a credit card or a ruler or you can do just do this step with your fingers just to make sure that there are no bubbles and once it's done you take little more Mod Podge and you apply all over your print and this time you can be generous with your uh, Mod Podge quantity as it's going to dry out completely clear. I do mine with the different strokes like some uh, horizontal and vertical to give it a canvasy look. And it's done and the same way we are going to do with the uh, other canvas the smaller canvas you put the Mod Podge thin layer of Mod Podge you put your print and then Mod Podge on top so an important trip right here is that uh, with the calendar images the paper was not matte photo paper so it gave me some bubbles as you can see right there it is giving me some bubbles but if you are going to use the matte photo paper it won't give you any bubble and it's done just look at the canvasy texture and it can be done all with very minimum supplies
this was not a photo paper so it the result is not so perfect but i just did a statement wall so overall it looks fine but just make sure that you use matte photo paper thanks for watching the video much love and god bless you all